Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. <clears throat> it is truly an honour to rise in the House today for my last statement in this beautiful chamber, a place where I've had the good fortune of serving for 15 years. At the outset, let me thank all of those within this House and outside this House for their tremendous good wishes over the last number of days. I want to do a number of thank yous here today. I want to thank the people of the ridings of Edmonton Leduc and Edmonton Southwest, where I've been privileged to represent them over the last five terms. Thank you for your confidence. Thank you for your support for me. I wish to thank the many volunteers and supporters who helped me during this period, the constituents who provided me constant feedback and guidance, and the supporters who are like a family to me, many of whom have supported me that entire time. I would like to thank my present and past colleagues on both sides of this House for their passionate love of our country, their commitment to making it better, and their kindness towards me, you are friends for life. I would like to thank and express my sincere appreciation to the many wonderful people who have worked in my offices in Edmonton and Ottawa for their incredible service to our constituency and our country. I, I may get very emotional here. I want to thank Debbie Healy for 15 years of amazing service to me. Thank you. Debbie, we're part of the same family now. I just love being part of you and your extended family. Thank you so much. Thank you to Kim Doman, who has served me for 15 years as well in such an extraordinary capacity. Thank you to Willie Burgess, who served me for 10 years, worked with me for another five years. All of my current staff, Samantha Johnson, the communications whiz, Lena Jorgensen, Carmel Harris, Trevor Rogers, who have just done such an outstanding job for all the constituents. They are so much part of my success. And I have two staff who are very colorful in my past who are here today. The lovely and talented Michelle Austin and Brian Rogers, who I will not tell any stories of here because that would not be appropriate in this chamber. But thank you so much for being here today. I also want to thank my family and friends for their unconditional love, their support, their friendship that they have given me in this fantastic journey through politics, particularly my heroes, my parents, Ron and Elaine Rajat. I'm sorry I'm more like my dad today than my mom. My mom's the strong one. My dad is the guy who cries at everything. So, I believe more profoundly today than I did when I entered Parliament that Canada is the best country in the world, a place where we can fulfill our deepest hopes and aspirations and be a light and example for the world. And I just want to end up by saying this. There is a lot of comments about political life and politicians that occurred here today and a lot of cynicism. After 15 years of serving with people in this place, of people who volunteer in politics, I have a more faith in those people who are in politics, who volunteer in politics. It is a noble endeavor. It is making this country a better place. This is the best country in the world. We can continue to make it better. Thank all of you in this chamber and outside this chamber for your service. Thank you all. It has been a wonderful, wonderful path for me. I genuinely appreciate it. Merci beaucoup. Au revoir.